Shalom. First and foremost, I want to start off by giving all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Ba'asham, Yahushai, Ba'asham, Rechakudash. Double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone, every well. Peace and blessings to the elect of Israel. Shalom and the Barber Ball. Back at it with another lesson through the spirit and power of Yahweh, Ba'asham, Yahushai. Lord, will this video was edifying. And uh, without further ado, I just want to get right into it through the spirit. All right. It's a quick prayer through the spirit, asking the Lord for the sure mercies of David. You know, because when you go into the accounts of David, you see the, the, you know, King David went off, you know, as we all, as did we all, you know, we all did sins worthy of death, you see, but the Lord forgave him. Now, that doesn't mean that the Lord still didn't chastise him, you know, and he still faced a form of judgment, so to speak. But at the same time, the Lord had mercy on him and made an everlasting covenant with him that he would set up his seed upon his throne, which is Solomon, which is our Lord, how we shine a reincarnation, you know? And we pray that we be a part of the house of David, all right? And Lord willing, we be a part of that house of David, and the house of David will receive the sure mercies of David, all right? So this is Isaiah chapter 55, in verse 1. Ho, everyone that thirsteth, come ye to the waters, and he that have no money, come ye by and eat. Yeah, come buy wine and milk without money and without price. You see, so this truth, you know, you buy the truth, but it's really spiritual. It's a spiritual transaction, you see. All right. And it says it's without price. You see, because why? It's a spiritual transaction. This truth is free. You know, men shouldn't be charging you to learn breakdowns and stuff like that. 50 bucks, you know, to go over the book of Revelations. Nah, you can't put a price on this wisdom, man. You see. Verse 2 is, wherefore do you spend money for that which is not bread? Yeah, why are you investing yourself in that which is not bread, pretty much in that which doesn't profit you? You see, because when Jake invests themselves and spends their money, you know, and fully invest themselves in things of the world that don't profit them, you see, they're wasting up their money. They're wasting up their time for things that don't profit them. You see, it says, and your labor for that which satisfies not. Yeah, because you're going to always keep needing to, you know, that that void is ultimately never going to be filled, man. There's always a, a void in our spirits that only Yahweh Bashem Shai and his truth can fill, you see. It says, hearken diligently unto me. And that's the thing, we're supposed to diligently keep the Lord's ways, you see. It says, and eat that, and eat ye that which is good, and let your soul delight itself in fatness, right? Because the Lord, when you hearken unto the Lord, is going to bring blessings into you. Spiritually, first and foremost, verse three, incline your ear, meaning be willing to listen and come unto me here and your soul shall live. And I'll make an everlasting covenant with you, even the sure mercies of David. That's right. So this, uh, the prayer is Yahweh, which is the name of the heavenly father, the most high. All right. Yahweh means he is or he exists. All right. And that's the Father, the Most High. All right. And then you have Baha Shum. Baha Shum is in the name. Ba is in. Ha, the, and Shum name. All right. Yahweh Shai. Slakia. Slakia. For some reason it's tripping on me. Okay. All right. Yahweh Shai. Is uh, he saves, he delivers. You see, Yahweh Shai, that's what Yahweh Shai means. All right, and that's the name of the only begotten Son, whom the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ. All right, his real name is Yahweh Shai, according to the laws, uh, the scriptures. It's like you, the scriptures. All right, now it's like you, Jake, trying to get the thing right. Okay. All right, Satan, man. As you can see, he <laughs> just doing his job. But call like la yabashma shab. We keep it pushing. We be on our job. Slack you. All right, Baba Kusha, Baba Kusha is please, and then you can say that three times. Baba Kusha, Baba Kusha, please, please, please. Natan, Natan is give or to allow or to suffer. And la is two, and awathya is me. So natanla ya, natanla awathya, or you can say natanla ya, give to me. Ha, which is the aman, aman is so be true or to be true. But in this particular word, it's going for the word sure. 
You see? Like the Most High's word, it's a sure thing. You know that it's going to, you know, it's not going to come back to him void. You see? But, um, it's a lot to bear with me. But Aman, which is to be true, sure. And then Chassad. Chassad is mercy. You can also say Chassad Yam. Chassad Yam is mercies. All right. And Dawad. Dawad was uh, King David's name. You know? Because when you go back, all right, you go into that name David in the blue letter. You go into the Hebrew. You have the word Dawada. That's the Hebrew characters Dawada. But it's ultimately pronounced Dawad. And sometimes the transliteration helps you pronounce the word, you know, but it's it's, it's spelled differently. But it's D A W A D, Dawad, which means beloved, beloved uncle, loved one, beloved uncle, so to speak. So, altogether, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, Babak Shah, Babak Shah, Babak Shah, Nathan, La'awath Ya, Ha Aman Chasad Dawad. Now, if some brothers feel comfortable saying Dawada, you know, the scripture say, let every man be fully persuaded in his own mind. You know, because a lot of brothers do say Dawada. But, you know, I have here the word Dawad. All right. And let me go ahead and get a couple other scriptures to kind of further drive this point home. Lord will, and we close out. If it be the most eyes will. All right, this is us. Isaiah 58 in verse 12. It says, and they shall be of thee that shall build the old waste places. All right, we're going to build back the land of Jerusalem. We're going to rebuild back the earth post the tribulation period. All right, it says, Thou shalt raise up the foundations of many generations, and thou shalt be called the repairer of the breach, the restorer of paths to dwell in. And the Lord is repairing the breaches of the house of David. And the house of David is going to repair the breaches of the Lord's uh, creation, so to speak, man, which is this planet Earth, the Lord's footstool. is as Amos 9 and 11. In that day will I raise up the tabernacle of David that is fallen and close up the breaches thereof, and I will raise up his ruins, and I will build it as in the days of old. You see, so the house of David is being brought back before your very eyes, but it's a spiritual house. And the house of David consisted of all 12 tribes, man. All right. It says that they may possess the remnant of Edom and of all the heathen which are called by my name, saith the Lord, that doeth this. All right. That's the point of that right there. All right. We're going to take over the, their lands and you different nations, man. All right. So, hey, Lord, will this video is edifying. I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to you. How will about Shemel Shai, about Shemel Chakadash, the honors to the elders and apostles of the great millstone, their well, peace, and blessings to the elect of Israel. Without further ado, just going to repeat it one more time. Yahweh Baha Shem Yahweh Shai. Baba Kusha, Baba Kusha, Baba Kusha, Natan La Awatya, Ha Aman Chasa Dawad. The water Twa Baman. You could say the water, which the water is thanks. Twab is good. And Aman can mean so be true, you know. What you really say at the end of a prayer, a lot of times. You see? So that's really the point. All right, Laura Wood's video is edifying. You can go ahead and take a screenshot if you would like. But that's the point. Laura Wood's video is edifying. Call Lam Laya Bashim Shah Bashim Kakadash. Double honors to the ills and apostles of the great Muslim. Well, peace and blessings to the elect of Israel. Shalom and a Baba Ball.